A Dubas bug outbreak in Oman has people here in Kentucky working hard. The Department of Entomology at the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment has been conducting research to find out just what can prevent these bugs from attacking. Jamin Dreyer, an entomology so postdoctoral student, is participating in this research. The overarching goal of the Dubas bug project is to identify the predators that consume or eat uh, Dubas bugs with uh, so that that information can be used to help growers, date growers, in the Middle East. Once, uh, once we're able to identify what these organisms are, spiders or insects or other things, um, using some of the techniques uh, here in Kentucky, um, then we can give recommendations to growers in places like Oman or Saudi Arabia or Iraq to help, to help them uh, keep the, the pest at bay. Even though not much research has been done about this mystery bug, there are some well-known facts that Jamin filled us in on. It's a plant hopper, so um, it's related to, it's a bug actually in the group, sort of related to the group of, that we would call bugs. And um, it's from a family that's uh, relatively small and many of the members are from Asia. Dubis bug itself is, is very small, it's just a few millimeters long and it's believed to be a specialist on the date palm. So that single species that people have learned to cultivate over the last few thousand years and use, um, of course, to produce dates. And in, um, in, a, in an infestation of dubus bugs, you would have 25% less or so um, yield of dates on, on that particular tree. The process of getting the right findings of this will be a long and extensive ordeal for the scholars working in the Department of Entomology. So in Oman we have our collaborators and they collected dubus bugs um, last year. They sent us those individuals and, and we received them last fall. W what we do, uh, what we did with the dubus bugs at that time was to actually extract the DNA from them and so you, you more or less you crush up the insect, you, know, you remove the DNA, and then you actually come out with the sequence of DNA. So Jamin says the end goal is to get the bugs to do the work for you. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, this is Jackie Clark reporting.